Because as it was stated, this is not a fad. This is not some popularity event. It's not going to be hijacked by Hollywood. It's going to remain on the ground. And you're not going to meet us and then put out statements that you met and all is fine. And you're not going to use the comments of others to try to demonize this movement. That's the power of when you're ready to move forward. This is a time that has come. It is so significant for us. The Emancipation Proclamation was just something that was wrote on a piece of paper with no, no significant meaning to it at all. All of these years, and I hear what some of you say, but slavery was a long time ago. Why are y'all still talking about it? It happened so long ago. Anthony Bethick served in our military. Countless number of black men and women contribute to this country. And over and over again, the systemic actions of racism is embedded in the DNA of this country. What we are doing now is rewiring that DNA to say it's no longer acceptable anywhere in America. This is the most significant moment in America history that's taking place right now. Those in the community, in community-based justice, in community-based programming, in programming for our children, taking care of our seniors. We know the black so and brown community. My question to you, what do you think about the Black Lives Matter and the role and the changes that is played here in America? Said one third of Americans, the role of black, black Americans know somebody who died from COVID. To one third detrimental to the of black Americans surveyed know somebody that died and moving from COVID. Forward, that would be the last the youth of today you know, to eight continue people that have died from COVID. This journey. In the last it end four here. months. It must continue. In the community. Do you think the since the Black Lives Matter has been in function, program. do you think it has been for our children, a major role within the Black society care of against our seniors. police brutality and against racism here in America? That, in yes, I think that black, the role so of the Black Lives Movement that's what this today is, about. is making so that's what's going to be deep changes in our society. It's changing Once we the go way forward, that people see black people embodied, mind, soul, and spirit. I think that with the new laws that are coming into effect, that we're to going put to those words overcome into the challenges and the barriers that have been placed before us in social justice, criminal reform, and also institutionalized and systemic racism. Thank you. 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 Research, read, study about your black history. There's so much more involved in it. It didn't begin in 1619. It began far to what I was saying that I didn't say the most years before that, thing. before the emancipation of slavery. So we have to read, we have to listen to our elders and respect those who have walked the path before us. Never stop learning, never stop doing. And We're always, always be knowledgeable matter, about who you are in the melanin skin that you live in and each and every day. And no, you I do not think that our school system encourages that 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 black people like you. And we have too much and it pain going on, and, and we, we have need to, to push stop forward it. in that and education so that it can be taught to all children starting from preschool ages all the way up into college and beyond because that's the way we become involved in our history as scholars. You have to immerse yourself in the history, in the school books, and that's something that they desperately need there. Okay. I think that not only as an elected official, but as a black man, my children, strong, grandchildren, other people, people's children, and in a generational aspect, need to understand so today, that we're global. Like to, we're more than just the neighborhood the around us. Of, we're far of, stretched and far as reached. We're in European black countries. Black we're black everywhere. So I think to I cause a connection between the global experience of being black and what we endure and how we learn about it, we have to communicate with other people and we have to take the necessary um, 
in provisions my brevity, to engulf I ourselves in how other people learn their languages and respect the culture. It's so much more, you know, involved in a culture so and understanding how the cultures are different. Okay. So, a last question. So, we had Marcus Garvey, we had Malcolm X. Into purpose. For decades, they've been they fighting for the Africans, the for the racism, how to trample racism. And, saying, and a day like today in the 20th century, we not? as African people are still and fighting for our freedom. The journey, what you message would you send to the people the or to who might be listening to this video why we are still fighting? In a very clear, I think that we're way, still fighting. Lives matter. So I thank you and I of you for what Gav you are doing. Harvey, because of Malcolm X, because of Martin Luther King Jr. and all that Let was before us, in that there's a blueprint that we have and to continue. It was started. It it prevailed in some cases, but not all meeting. cases. We still have to get into the and courts. We have to change the bills, the change the legislation, and understand how the court system works either for us or against us. You don't understand because that will continue to keep us massively incarcerated, and that's not what we want. We fight for freedom and our liberty and, and our justice in this. Justice is for everyone, Those and we have to make sure that black lives matter. How do we trample racism? Pardon? How do we trample racism? How do we trample racism? And murdered by that's police. That's an and extensive question, and I will say that we, we trample racism every day. This every day, with our way of thought, every day we have to encourage ourselves to go out and empower ourselves and be a better person. And you teach other people about our race, teach other people what respect people is, and how to respect our elders and help their each their other. Name. Because now maybe everyone doesn't understand what race is, what culture is, what bigotry is, prejudice. So we have to have that open conversation and safe places. And if we need help, we have to outreach ourselves for that help that we need so that we can battle racism you together. Are now I say to all of the children in the African diaspora and, and Black Mexicano diaspora, European and United Kingdom Others diaspora, and Caribbean, African Caribbean diaspora, to connect. Each one Harry connect. Tubman Write letters, use the social media, so have the truth communication, read all you can Marcus read, Garvey and don't forget one of the mouth. most important things that you can Marcus ever do Max is pray for something higher than you, and that's going to take you to your highest What's your and name? Sharon Hunt. Thank you. First question to you. What do you think about Black Lives Matter? Um, I think Black Lives Matter is like it represents people and that you should um you should like you shouldn't just kill black people for not doing anything and if they're not armed then um there's like no point so you should just like let black people you should just let like black people live and you shouldn't like bother them okay so i taking part in this event how great and how good you feel taking part in such a great event? Um, I feel good because I'm representing black people. I, s I feel good because I'm representing black people and um, they, and as I'm representing black people, um, it feels good because those are my people. So I'm, I like, We're putting it here for a reason. Because as it was stated, this is not a fad. This is not some popularity event. It's not going to be hijacked by Hollywood. It's going to remain on the ground. And you're not going to meet us and then put out statements that you met and all is fine. And you're not going to use the comments of others to try to demonize this movement. That's the power of when you're ready to move forward. This is a time that has come. It is so significant for us. The Emancipation Proclamation was just something that was wrote on a piece of paper with no, no significant meaning to it at all.
Oh, my knees, yeah. And I hear 